All right, those tolls, highways, and bridges that you drive through without paying can now take a bigger bite out of your wallet than you would expect. Drivers are actually paying millions of dollars in late fees for video tolls, and as Pat Warren reports, there's an effort underway to do something about it. Driving through no cash toll booths with no easy pass means getting a video toll invoice in the mail. For somebody that doesn't have a transponder, how many times they, they don't I, know to look no, for the bill they, in the they, mail. Yeah, that's correct. And think about all, oh, here's all my bills right here, you know? I mean, especially this time of the year, you get so many advertisements, you get so many Christmas cards and everything else, they get all mixed up. And if you don't pay within 30 days, you get a $50 fine. Fiscal 2018 saw $100 million in late fees issued statewide. What does that say to you about the system? It's not working, and it gives me heartburn. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's not fair. Baltimore County Senator Kathy Klausmeyer is one of the lawmakers working to bring those fines down. She and Montgomery Delegate Al Carr, whose district includes drivers using the inter-county connector, are taking up the issue in Annapolis next session. A lot of times people think, we're, we're there just making laws to penalize people, but this is one we're going to unpenalize people. Klausmeyer says she'll also be working with the MDTA to come up with a cost-saving solution. One way or the other, there are hopes that this issue can be resolved next year. I'm Pat Warren reporting for WJZ.